Bye bye. 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 The color of the water is so cool. It's a, it's a beautiful turquoise blue and now with the sunset happening with the clouds, it's like a very soft glow in the water. It's just amazing. I definitely didn't expect to see any of this here. I didn't expect the water to be so blue and the waves are just crashing on the rocks and the sound is so nice. And in the far we can see something like a fishing net and big birds sitting on each uh, stick of it. What kind of bird is that? I don't know. They're all black. It looks like they're crows but... It reminds me of uh, Fort Kochi where they used to have these Chinese fishing, net. fishing nets. So if we go far that way, right? Far? If you go really far out, Straight. one hour or so, you will reach UAE. The tip, the tip of it. Actually, the tip is Oman and then around that is UAE. So it's like an enclave and that's what you'll reach from here. And we see a lot of oil tankers. I don't know. Look at the kite there. Hello, my friends. And I need some fries. So we've just made it to Zaytun Park. This is like the park, the most popular park in the city of Keshu. At the viewpoint, there was this man who was just sitting and looking at the sunset, and he was just resting we started walking back and then he saw us and he asked do you want a guy do you want a ride guys he told you, yes please and yeah. then he, now he dropped us to Zaitun Park the funny thing was this guy as soon as we sat in the car he asked us where we are from and when we said India he said I have a surprise for you and began to speak in Hindi <laughs> he was a little camera shy but it was so cool to hear Hindi after a long time. But now we are at this park. And everybody's hanging out. It's it this like reminds me of Southeast Asia. I can see coconut trees and there's grass and the blue so, water. Yeah. Lots of snack stores. Looks like a fun beach to hang out in. Shish is just getting us some food. So I'll take you down to the beach before it gets too dark and then we'll wait for her to come. I already see some uh, street food vendors here. Wonder what they're selling. Bandari samosa? Sambusa? So we're just getting some samosa. It looks so different. Oh. 
funk, 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 funky. And we finally made it to the Persian Gulf. This is really cold water. Pretty cold. First time in the region. There's a lot of people playing in the water there. There's also some water sports. And on this side, there's a lot of people making like a picnic celebration with hookah and falafel sandwiches. People seem to be a lot more free on this island than in other parts of this country. Let's see where the shish is. She's got food. Got some sambusa, my friend. Can you hold it? Hold. Salam. Hello. Salam. What's your name? Arshia. Arshia. Nice to meet you. Are you from Keshim? Iran. Iran. Please stop scary. Ah. <laughs> Just met him sitting here and got talking. And now it's time for a meal. What do we got? Sambusa for me and falafel for Salam. Bandari samosa. Sambusa. Mm. 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 It's interesting. They wrap this up with lavash bread and then just fried it. They took lavash bread, put some you know, mashed potato with some masalas inside and, and then just fried it. Simple. Is it good? It's amazing. I want some more. You mean you want some more? And on this side there's and on this side there's a